when you sign into chat gpt this is the interface and the first thing to note here is this is a free research preview it doesn't mean it will stay free forever they're just trying to get feedback so you see our goal is to get external feedback in order to improve our system and make them safer and then while we have safeguards in place the system may occasionally generate incorrect or misleading information so you should also note that let's go to next how we collect data so it's talking about how i collect data conversation may be reviewed by our ai trainers to improve our system please don't share any sensitive information in your conversations as well then also the feedback so um, we can also go there right here the discord but it's here so once you click on that this brings to you the feedback platform where you can just come in and give the feedback you already almost a million members here so you can just come in and um, type let's say a username let's say GAA something and then go and continue And then you can just key in like a date of birth, something right here. And hit OK. And this is like the Discord area where you can just come in and interact with other people and just also add your thing here. So let's come back and then we hit done. So this is your interface of the chat GTP. Remember, this is a chat box. And uses GPT-3 so you can come in and let's say here is for your new chart you can just click that for your new chart and then you can type your chart here and then you have the dark mode so this is the um, light mode so the dark mode is black the light mode is white so you choose which one that you want and then remember we went to the discord you can also come that here and then it will take you to the discord site where you can interact with other people on here and then there's also um update and faq so you can come in here and just type what you want and you you have that here as well and then you can also log out then here when you come to the side it gives you first examples of what you can do so for instance explain quantum computing in simple terms by typing that here so you can just do that so you see you click that and then you type that and then the chat opens and then it's giving you what quantum computing is in simple terms i hope this is simple enough but we'll get more to it you can actually limit this one i think this is pretty long Can actually also go to regenerate response and then it will give it another shot and just explain a little bit more and then once you do that you see here that you have two over two so if you go back it will go to the first response and then if you come it will go to the next response and then you can also see the quantum computing shown here and once you click let's say new chart it's going to add a new chart here so the quantum computing is not overridden so let's say if you click this arrow this gives you the first response and then this one gives you another response you can also come in and then instead of in simple terms you can just say in less than 20 words and then just put that in and then it will just explain in less than 20 words quantum computing uses quantum mechanical phenomena to perform calculations faster than classical computers so that is how you can actually do that and then once you click new chart you see the quantum computing is kept and then you can go on and on and just add to your chat box there it's pretty quick it's pretty fast then you can also see capabilities it says remember what user said earlier in the conversation allow user to provide follow-up correction so for instance remember when we type this let's say it remembers that so i could i could just say explain in 40 words and it remembers that you are talking about quantum computing so it will just explain in 40 words for you and then train to decline in inappropriate requests so if you type in inappropriate request here it's going to decline it and then some of the limitations 
may occasionally generate incorrect information so that is one thing that you have to note especially mathematics if you just say uh, maybe 10 plus 9 it, it might say 20 so you just have to be careful don't take this very serious sometimes make sure you verify and then may occasionally produce harmful instructions or biased content so some of the things that you key in might be biased it's not always going to be the right point of view and then also limited knowledge of world and events after 2021 so anything after 2021 they don't have the data for it so he won't get any knowledge from that that's a brief overview of the interface and i think with this brief you can just come in and play along with that Thank you.